Hey fellas, I'm Mark and this is Sky Factory 4, so if you guys would like to install mods or other mod packs like this, this is the video for you, because we go through how you can install any mod pack that you want and actually go through like a list and browse them all as well. So, let's get straight in. So for Windows, oh wait, my camera's on the wrong side. Okay, so open up Chrome and then type in CurseForge. Then click on the first link that appears up on the top that says just CurseForge. There we go. And uh, then on the top there should be CurseForge app. Oh wait, cookies, uh, let's deny these. There we go. Now click on CurseForge app at the top. And then it will load up this thing with automatic uh, detection for your operating system. Just click on the Windows and it will install the file. Once the file has been installed, just double click on it. And then it will say opening. Now there was an administrative panel there that you didn't see, but just click continue or allow the application and then it will open up this CurseForge installer. Now there's a language selection, select your language and click next. And then afterwards click on create a desktop shortcut for CurseForge but do not click it for Overwolf. We won't need Overwolf as much as we'll need CurseForge. You can also choose the program place, click I've, ac I've accept the agreement, next and click accept and install. There we go. And then it will install the application. There we go, once it's finished. Uh, it will say CurseForge has, and Overwolf has successfully been installed. It opens a browser. Just click on close on that. There we go. Then just open up CurseForge and it will come up with this first time launch thing. And once it launches for the first time it will do this weird thing and it will do an intro for the application. There we go. That's It's all entirely normal. And then it says welcome to CurseForge, just click skip on it in skip intro and then click on Minecraft and standard recommended for new people. Unless you want to do advanced, you can. There we go, hold tight. We're getting Minecraft ready for you. Now here you just click on browse mod packs and you're ready to go. So it's pretty simple now that you've installed uh, CurseForge, uh, you've got a browse mod packs up here if you've already got mod packs installed. Uh, you've got a create custom profile up here so you can create your own mod packs. Uh, if you want, which I have done right here. So let's just install a mod pack that already exists, shall we? Uh, it's pretty cool. Let's install Sky Factory 4. All you have to do is press the install button over here and you are done. Now, uh, once you're complete, if you've already got mod packs, uh, it will install the latest mod pack down here that you've installed. You can just click on play and it will install all the mods for you and everything you need pretty easy right so here we are i've got my custom sky factory right here i actually customized it so i've changed all the files for it don't worry that it doesn't look the same it is the same it's just i've added some config changes so up here we can click on play and click on continue but it says i'm already launched i'll just close this there we go click on continue and it will launch the game just a normal minecraft launcher thing here where you click on play and there we go, you're launching the game. So this is pretty much normal, you'll see um, a different loading screen per mod pack. Mod packs have custom loading screens, uh, this one is called Sky Factory 4 so it will have the blue and the typical penguin falling out continuously into the void. Now if you guys want to know how to install shader packs, click up here. Um, shader packs are pretty easy to add to any mod pack and they make the game look a whole lot more interesting. If this video has helped you make sure to leave like, subscribe and turn on notifications. And also make sure to comment what you'd like to see next. Um, I will definitely help you guys out with whatever I can because this was actually suggested by a comment. Uh, so if you guys want to comment down below what you'd like to see next as a tutorial, make sure to comment it down below.